What is up guys? Ricky Turner back here with another tutorial. I know it's been a long time. The last tutorial that I did was like five months ago or something like that. ASAP Rocky, ASAP Forever music video tutorial. Check it out. It's awesome. You guys showed me tons of love. Because we have our clip on our timeline that we want to add that effect to, or if it's your whole clip, who knows? And we're gonna go to music video effects, overlays and green screens. So uh, before I begin too, I wanna tell you guys that you know you can't just throw an overlay over it and just be like oh this is a VHS effect like no you gotta you gotta add depth to it you have to make it look right whether it be color correction all all these different things apply and I'm gonna show you these today and they're very basic very easy so what we're gonna do here is we're going to go down and this is a pack that Max Novak offers for free on his website again link will be in the description and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to VHS 80 vintage this is one of my favorite overlays of his in the VHS pack so what we're gonna do is right click on the clip on link we're gonna go a little forward as you can see it's not the effect isn't started yet so there we go it started press C if you're on Mac I don't know what it is on Windows my apologies bring that back here and then what we're gonna do is right click and then we're gonna scale to frame size it's not always gonna go the right size right away so we're gonna go to our infect control center go to scale and just scale that up and then what i like is you know you want to make sure that you know what your overlay looks like for example for this one i like the lines you see all this stuff but what i want to do is i want to be able to see the bottom here now what we're going to do is cut off the rest of this here so c cut that off click back on our clip go over to opacity click this time key off go to blend mode and then we're gonna put this to screen. So as you can see now, it has the VHS effect. Now some people would stop here and say that this is exactly how it's supposed to look, blah, blah, blah. No, not at all. You are mistaken. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more depth into this. So this here is another overlay pack that is free and I will add the link to the in the description. So this is a dissolve eight millimeter film grain pack comes with the medium grain, low grain, high grain, and hand process. So I'll show you the hand process. This is one of my favorites. So we're gonna go over here, drag this onto our timeline. Same process here, C, cut. Now what you could see is it's just scratchy, it's just distorted. What we're gonna do is do the same exact thing. I like to do soft light with this. You can see little scratches, different things like that. Now it depends on the clip. For example, like I'll add probably a little bit more grain into this. We add like a low grain just to add a little more depth. So let's see here. So here I'll do soft light. That looks good to me. If you wanted to amplify that more, I'm gonna go down to my presets here. So this is Color King by Max Novak. We're gonna right click on our projects. We're gonna go to new item and then adjustment layer. Drag this above all of our footage. There's kind of an RGB look, but it's more yellowish. He has multiple different types. Uh, Valentine's Day, like you can actually do the regular RGB split. Um, he has the psychedelic, which kind of goes through different color hues. I like this one only because it's, I don't know, like it matches the little Uzi Vert style in his Sauce It Up video. But yeah, yeah, this is this is how I like it. I would actually just keep this as is. It looks amazing, but if you want to add to that even more, go back to the VHS overlay pack. He has different things like a camera recording. C, cut, right click, scale, frame size, and go to ultra key. Drag that on to our clip. And actually what we're gonna do is put this above because we don't want that RGB look kind of affecting this clip. And then what we're gonna do is go to key color Click this little dropper. All right, so this is how it's gonna look like in the end. Like I said, this just gives it that kind of like old school paranormal activity kind of POV look. But yeah, this is just showing you guys kind of how you can utilize this to amplify your footage and make it authentic. So what we're gonna do is go to our adjustment layer and go to Lumetri color here and basic correction. What I like to do is I like to turn my saturation down just a bit. Let's see. Give it about, turn it up down at like 78. And again, depending on your footage, I like to turn like the temperature down just a little bit as well too. Boom. Turn the exposure up just a little bit. Let's see, that looks pretty good. So that's some contrast actually. 
all right so yeah that's basically how it looks it looks good and like i said it's all personal preference you don't have to do this um uh, well in terms of this overlay um this video overlay in order to kind of like complete the effect sometimes you don't even have to do the record um in the upper left hand corner you don't have to do that in order to kind of achieve this effect i like it as if you're watching like an old school vh and vhs movie um it's not it's not going to be like it doesn't always have to be like you're recording it from an actual camcorder and that's what a lot of people kind of don't understand you know you got to play with this sort of aesthetic and um again i think if, for me i like uh kind of the storytelling aspect of it because i mean the viewer is watching this video so it's almost like the viewer is watching a vhs movie I mean, they, it, it sounds crazy but that's how in depth i like going with it so i prefer not to use these guys but if you did want to use them like i said it's basically the same thing if it's green screen just throw it on there um scale it up and uh, go over to the effects tab over here throw an ultra key down on the clip go over click the dropper boom get off that stuff depending on the color or whatever get that off so you can see your clip and boom you're basically set but yeah other than that guys like i said i'll add everything that i showed you in the description below and uh if you guys want any other videos please add that in the comment section down below as well too let me know if you like this video and if you want more of these types of videos and uh yeah thank you guys <laughs>